So moving on from our entry-level web design program, we also have a more intricate web design program. And at your university or when you apply with us for an internship, you might have applied for an entry level. However, when we look at your resume, we might see that you know a more advanced internship is appropriate for you. And in our entry level web design program, the whole idea is to introduce you to HTML, introduce you to WordPress, and teach you how to get a website that is gonna be presentable in a professional setting. However, you don't really have to learn a lot of complex web design skills. In a more advanced internship program, we don't use any type of software. We only write in Notepad. And I personally have Ultra Edit, which I like. And you can see here, this is the back end of our coding. And let me show you what I was actually doing here. Um, we have a website, which is our ads website. If I can pop that up. And on the ads website, I was adding a button in. Just create an ad here. And that might look simple, but when you highlight it, you can see the color of it is actually changing a little bit. And it's also right aligned. There's a little bit of area here. So that's all designed in this backend section. And how that works is it's in a div. And I give it a style of saying text align center. The width is going to take up 20%. It's going to float over on the right side. It's white, has a font size of this, yada, yada. And then I tell it to put the button in and I tell it where to link that button to, what color it is, and then the text afterwards. And I also have a section right above it. You can see all of our sections have commenting in them and we are very particular about the spacing. I like each section to have commenting before it, then we put it in, then we comment after it, and then we have the main section and just everything's commented really well and not knowing anything about how I made this page, how I made this design, you should be able to come in here and get a really good grasp of how you're gonna change things just based on reading this code. And if you aren't very familiar with PHP coding, that's what this is written in, then we can take you from a C++ language or um, a visual basic and we can help you understand this language a lot more. I personally went to school and I learned C++, the C languages, and getting out of school and opening my own company with my own servers, I didn't want my products running on Microsoft servers. I wanted them running on Linux servers. They're cheaper, they're faster, they're more reliable. And so I went with PHP having no background in it. And now many years later, our entire company is running on PHP and open source coding. And now we get to uh, have the benefit of working with people in India, working with designers that they don't have that formal schooling and keeping our our servers very cheap so it's really cool so some of the things that we've done in the company that shows you something simple like adding a button to this page which you might be laughing at or you might be saying yeah i do want to know how to do that but we do a lot more complex stuff too for example uh, down here on this chat bar uh, this is a plugin that we've added which that's not a big deal but in addition to the plugin, we just took the whole chat bar, which is called Comet Chat, and we integrated Comet Chat into our WordPress site. Now that, that actually is kind of complex. And every website that you go to that we own now, you'll see that chat bar down at the bottom. Really convenient and it feels really high end for our, our clients. Now in addition to that, we also made this guy, FitMat, and you could talk to him. And this is actually AI technology that we put into him. We say, hey, how are you? And he comes back with a response. Now, this might be a silly response. He says, hey, how can I help you? Well, I'm a bot, so I'm always great, but thanks for asking anyway. Um, and that's computer programming that we put into him. And you can go into the back end of him and you can program different responses based on what the questions asked are. That's really nice. It's a way for people to feel like they're actually talking with somebody. Um, and we get a lot of people that they ask questions like, how can I lose weight? Where do I sign up for a race? Um, all of that. And he says, the best way to lose weight is to read the fire within. You get this for free just by being a member. You can download it for your, from your desktop. Okay, so we can always redefine these questions and we can add in to where that's actually a link to the book. That would be nice. And um, 
So we're always improving on our programs and our interns are helping with this. And it's really fun. You get to work with artificial intelligence like this. You get to work with uh, basic websites too, learning how to put in uh, a feed over here. So this feeds off. You also learn how to take a website that's already on a main website and turn this into something that's more iPhone friendly or tablet friendly, which that's a, a pain in the butt right now. Hopefully it gets better in many years, but right now it's not, not that friendly, but it's definitely a skill that you can use today and get hired by companies knowing how to do this type of stuff. So just to give you an idea of some other things that we do, let's go over and look at hard magic. And in this section, you can look at our programming and you can see what we have going on there. You can also look at the web design section or the video and almost everything that we use in this somehow is related to programming. This whole site, how you see it, is sliding around when that happens. We programmed all of that. Um, you also have some opportunities here. We have the hub where we have tutorials. We have a forum. Inside the forum, this is a very complex section which it has a forum that's integrated into the entire social networking site and each member has their own uh, checklist. So if we go and read this one, then it's gonna show the person that wrote the post. It's gonna show their overall rating, how many hours they've worked, how many posts they've written, their reputation. All of that is integrating the social network into the forum. The forum is a simple forum called SMF forum. However, we don't want it to feel like it's disconnected from the site. Also, when you scroll to the top of the forum, you're gonna see our bar that is on the top of most of our sites. And you wanna be able to link all of that stuff into these other programs as well. And that very cohesive network makes up our overall network, which we call the Move. And we're doing a lot of things where we're integrating different programs, and, and we're always using PHP coding. So that's a pretty good overview. Uh, just to wrap up with that, we have a few hundred websites that are all ran on this Move network, and everything is written in PHP coding. And all you need to run this is a computer with an internet connection, and you have to be patient enough to be reading this type of stuff for advanced web design program. And you don't need any paid programming either. There's a Notepad++, which I do recommend to use, which is very similar to this Ultra Edit. It's just a free version, open source. Now, lastly, we do give a lot of our programming back to the open source community. We donate plugins back to WordPress. We donate to resource space. 99% of all programs that we use are open source. And I take a lot of pride in that. I'm making this from my house right now. I really encourage people to work from home, to work from a coffee shop, and we reduce the impact on the environment that way. We also get to work in a comfortable environment to us, and we also take the advice of the interns and we apply that on our site. So you can get creative if you wanna make uh, artificial intelligence, if you want to integrate some brand new company, if you wanna use what you learned with us and use our server to open up a new app program, 20% uh, of your time working with us, you're more than welcome to do that. <laughs>